So you've been doing this for 34 years? The alligator harvest for 34 years, and we've been uh, helping uh, take away the iguanas for 12 years. That's great. Okay, we'll have your information down below. You guys want to have a great time? Contact Brian right here. All righty, we're going to have right. some fun. Let's do it. Oh. Brian, how are right. you? Good morning, good. Can you throw that in the ice with my drinks? There's our tackle. You gotta get me over, Dave, you're gonna drift off. Watch the pole, watch the pole, grab the pole, grab the pole, pull it back, pull it back. Watch the tip, David. Good. Go up there, Brian. Yep. I am. He's in the gate. You're wrapped around that pole, bro. You might want to go over the other way. Yeah, I'm just going to let him wear off a second. Stay right here. Guys, hold that line. I'm gonna hold it to me. Okay. Kick the uh -huh. ball. Let me get a hold of him first, David. Over the fence, through the woods. That was great. This baby's huge too. This one's... This way, so I can get it right. Yeah. Because if you're pulling against me, I know I'm gonna give it to you right now. Let me pull his tail. I don't need it. I don't need it. He's all tangled up anyway. Just uh, let me get it off his head first, so I can get his neck. So I can put some pressure on his neck. So he's he's gonna tire out now. Let him go. We got him. I got him. I got him. A male. Oh, a male. See okay. this back leg? Yeah. See all these whites right, right here? That's a male. Okay. That's where the pheromones go all over the ground to attract the females. They spread it through there, through the genitalia. Okay. So it attracts all the females. Godzilla, huh? Which is it's, doo -wop. it's yeah. the male do up.
Mexican spiny tail. Check this guy out. He's not letting go at all. Yeah, that's... Actually, the other one bit first, right? Yeah. But I think they were fighting. So how do you get them off? Oh, there. See how that one came after me? Yeah. They are so fast. Hero. Watch Careful. out. He's going to come at no, you. No, no, no. I learned already. Dude. I learned already. No, 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 no. Put your foot up there again, Brian. Show how what aggressiveness these guys have. Yeah, he's like a freaking. You hear him? He's hissing again. He is hissing. Oh my god, that's the last thing I saw. The last thing I saw before he bit me. Oh, my finger just freaking. Oh, damn. Got another heartbeat to it. Oh. Hero. What'd I do for you, Hero? We'll do one back. Uh, by the, by the. All right, to the most important part of the video, how to dispatch the iguana properly. Yes, this is the euthanization that uh, people should use. Um, this is a 22. It's an airsoft rifle, a pellet gun. And so we're going to take a small pellet and insert it in. And this is what's going to dispatch, be dispatched to the brain of the iguana, which is then the best way to euthanize it. Anyway, that's probably going to do it, so. Pretty much, I know cut off the, the arm and legs. Okay. Right? So I'm gonna do actually from here. Maybe this way the more easy. You can see more. Just gonna do it over like that. Like this. Here. Ready?
Whoa. Oh, man, <laughs> he just got me again. The tail. Just have a nerve, you know? Wow, look at that hero. Well, obviously, these are just nerves. And this is what? This is over an hour ago. Mm. You know that? Yeah, more than an hour. I yeah, think. more than an hour. You saw earlier, so man, my finger got bit. And uh, it still hurts. It's like a thumping <clears throat> by that um, black Spanish, the spiny tail. Black spiny tail uh, iguana really got me good. Okay, so, so we're going to use this box. Okay, perfect, yeah. This is a bloody mess here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wash and everything. So, you know. It's so moving. I wonder why it does that. You know why the nurse does that, right? Mm -hmm. 